Hi, this is Bob Cohan, and welcome to my reloading and fly tying room. Uh, today, I'm going to switch gears a little bit, and we're going to, since it's turkey season, I want to share with you what I use to hunt turkey with, and that's a 410. And the shells that I use are tungsten or TSS shells. So we're going to go through the components I use, where I get those components, and how I reload those components. One thing I want to mention is uh, in this load, I, I use an MP300 powder. It's really tough to get right now. H110 is really uh, easier to get. If you do use the H110 powder, you want to back your loads off to 13, 13 and a half grains. Both these loads will get you about a thousand feet a second and uh, plenty for turkey in this tungsten. One thing I do want to mention also is that uh, you only want to use these shells in a modern firearm. Um, and if for best results, you want to use them in a 410 that you can put a turkey choke in. So anyway, uh, why don't we get started? So here's what I use for components. I use either a Fiocchi 410 3-inch new primed hull, or I use a Cheddite. And then to the left, you'll see a bag that says TPS. Set your wads. You really absolutely have to use a TPS wad when you're using tungsten. Uh, you want to keep that. Uh, these are very long wads. They're very heavy walled. And they will keep this tungsten encapsulated till it gets out the end of your barrel. So that's really important that you use that TPS wad from Ballistics Products. You're also going to buy some 410 overshot cards because we're going to do a roll crimp. And just below the 300 MP powder canister, you see there's the roll crimper. I got this one from um, Precision Reloading. I do have one from Ballistic Products, but I like the one from Precision Reloading a little bit better. You can get your uh, TPS from several sources. I get mine from a, a gentleman called uh, his Hoglips dot com a uh, really nice guy uh, and he has loading data for almost all the gauges um, for this tps and uh, that's where i started with uh, my loads when i was experimenting um, you're going to use 300 mp powder for this load you're going to use 16 grains um, so let's uh Weigh out some of these uh, powders for these shells and some uh, TPS, and then we'll go up to the drill press and we're going to uh, do a roll crimp for you. So what I'm doing here, I want to show you here before we go upstairs and do some roll crimp crimping, is what I've done is I've uh, measured out 16 grains of that MP300, like so on my scale and uh, added it to the shells as you can see And then we're taking the TPS wad, and you can see that's a heavy duty wad. And we're going to add it to the, on top of the powder here. Then what I've done is I've gone ahead and pre-measured uh, 385 grains of TPS, which I'm going to add to the shell. And you can see that just comes to the very top of that TPS wad. We'll do another one here. So I'm going to push that wad down. Just make sure it's tight against the powder. And I'm going to add that TPS. And you can see that it's right at the very top of the wad. One thing I want to tell you, and it's very important, is when we are testing these different types of TPS loads and different powders, 
my friend Kyle and I discovered that some of these companies uh, use a buffer in their shells and we found that the buffer actually has a tendency to distort the patterns and without a buffer the shells performed a lot better so we quit adding buffer to our shells there we go You can see that just lays in there really nice, right to the top of the of the wad. Okay, then we are going to take these shells upstairs, and we're gonna we're gonna add our. And I've already marked them 9T for 9 tungsten. But we're going to take these shells upstairs after adding these overshot cards. And we're going to do a roll crimp. So we'll see you upstairs. Okay, so here we are out in the garage. And as you can see, I've already installed my roll crimper. But what I want to share with you is this is a hull vise used to hold your hulls, and it makes your life a whole lot easier. They're not very expensive. I got this particular one from Ballistic Products, and I'm not advertising for them because I'm sure that there's plenty of places out there that make hull vices, but I happen to get mine from Ballistic Products. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to line this up, and that looks like it lines up pretty well. We're going to start our machine up and I usually go a little at a time with these roll crimps and you can feel when you're doing this you can feel when you you're hitting the end of where you need to go Looks like it looks pretty good. We're going to turn off our machine here. As you can see, that's a perfect roll crimp. One thing I should tell you about these shells is that uh, we've tested them out to. 40, 45 yards, and uh, the way it's loaded here, we're getting, in a 10-inch circle, we're getting anywhere from about 170 to 190 pellets uh, at, that, at that distance. These things are pretty devastating, and that tungsten is so much heavier than lead, it carries more energy down range with it. So these are really... Uh, plenty of medicine for your spring turkey. I hope you guys uh, try it. You guys that have the 410s, try it. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun hunting them with these small gauges. And uh, I will see you on the next video. So here we are at the range. And we have our uh, 410 TSS 9-shot loads. And we're going to shoot down range here at 40 yards. We're going to take our indicator out here and we're going to aim at the base of the neck or halfway between the neck and the head on this turkey target So let's we'll go down and see what uh, we have.
So here's our turkey target that we shot at uh, 40 yards with number 9 TSS out of a 410 and you can see it's pretty, let me turn that around so you can see a little bit better. It is pretty devastating. I could probably go up one click on my turkey scope, but I was uh, aiming right here and it hit exactly, maybe a little bit low, but that is a dead turkey. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be uh, seeing you soon. Thanks. Bye.